My name is Greg. I live in New York. Um, I served in the Navy for six years right out of high school, uh, then left the Navy, went to college, and became a teacher. I voted Republican most of my adult life. Um, when I re-registered recently, I thought about switching parties, but in the end decided not to, even though I felt like the Republican Party had abandoned me as a voter uh, over the past four years. I did not vote for Donald Trump in 2016. I didn't think he was qualified either personally or professionally to do that job. And I remember when he was elected, uh, it was surreal. I, I couldn't believe that that it happened in this country. After he was elected, uh, I remember two discussions. One was with my son. Uh, he was thinking about joining the military. And I remember saying to him, uh, I don't want you to have to choose between doing the right thing and honoring your oath to protect the United States and the Constitution. Um, I didn't trust Donald Trump's judgment to get those two aligned. In recent events where he threatened to use regular military against peaceful protesters uh, just confirmed what I think I already knew. The second discussion was with some of my students. Uh, I work with a fairly diverse group of students and some of them were very upset when he won the election. And I remember saying to them, well, he's not a king, he's a president. And our government has a system of checks and balances uh, to prevent the abuse of power. Unfortunately, uh, someone forgot to tell that to Donald Trump and to remind the Republican Senate and Republicans in other branches of government uh, that that was the case. For me personally, the biggest change that's occurred over the past four years is my perception of the American flag and what it means. Um, used to be when somebody was flying the flag outside of their home, um, it stood for democracy, freedom, equality, and opportunity. And I think the past four years, that's that's been corrupted. Uh, when I see someone flying a flag an American flag and a Trump 2020 flag on the same flagpole, my first thought is those two don't belong on the same flagpole. They stand for entirely different things. Um, following the incident at St. John's when the protesters were cleared using tear gas for the photo opportunity, um, an image popped into my head of what the flag now stood for. I'd like to share that with you. Um, for the first time in my life, I think I experienced what it feels like to look at an American flag and not have it represent me as an American. Um, I know this country doesn't always live up to those ideals I mentioned, but I think we have a much better chance of doing it with Joe Biden as president than we ever would with Donald Trump. So I'm voting for Joe Biden in 2020 because I want to live in a country where those ideals represent what this country really means.